Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about laws of friction. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. We will discuss about the laws of static friction. Then we will discuss about the laws of kinetic friction. Then we will discuss about laws of dry friction or you can say laws of solid friction. So basically in this session we are going to see the laws of static friction, then laws of kinetic friction and at last laws of dry friction. So let's see one by one. First one, laws of static friction. In the past video, we have discussed about the static friction. So very simple, when the body is at rest, then you can say there is a static friction. The force of friction, here you can see always acts in a direction opposite to that in which the body tends to move. So very simple, force of friction is always opposite to the motion. Next, the magnitude of this frictional force is exactly equal to the force which tends to move the body. So very simple, this force of friction that is always equal to the applied force. Next third one, the magnitude of this limiting friction makes a constant ratio to the normal reaction between the two surfaces. Here you can see this is the contact surface and perpendicular to this there is a normal reaction. So always this friction force makes a constant ratio to this normal reaction. So mathematically you can say F is equal to mu Rn means in another word F by Rn that means limiting friction makes a constant ratio with the normal reaction and that constant ratio is called as coefficient of friction mu. Next. The force of friction is independent of the area of contact between the two surfaces. So keep in mind this force of friction that is actually independent of the area of contact. Next, the force of friction depends upon the roughness of the surfaces. This is really very simple. The force of friction is independent of the area of contact but depends upon the roughness of the surfaces. Now second one, laws of kinetic friction or you can say laws of dynamic friction. Here you can see in case of kinetic friction there is a relative motion between the two surfaces. The force of friction always acts in a direction opposite to that in which the body is moving. So here you can see the body is moving in this direction whereas the friction force is always in opposite direction. Next, the magnitude of this kinetic friction that means this FF makes a constant ratio to the normal reaction between the two surfaces. This is exactly similar to that of the laws of static friction. But this ratio is slightly less than that in case of dry friction. And here you can see this kinetic friction or you can say dynamic friction that is less than static friction or you can say dry friction. For moderate speeds, the force of friction remains constant, but it decreases slightly with the increase of speed. In this figure also you can see. For the moderate speeds, the force of friction, that means the kinetic friction remains constant, but it decreases slightly with the increase of speed. Next, the last one, 
lows of dry friction or you can say lows of solid friction first one the force of friction is directly proportional to the normal load between the surfaces so this is actually almost similar to the lows of static friction but here the condition is that the contact surface is always the dry surfaces the force of friction is independent of the area of contact that also we have discussed previously next the force of friction depend upon the material of which the contact surfaces are made so in another word you can say the force of friction that depends on the roughness of the surfaces next the force of friction is independent of the velocity of the sliding of one body relative to the other body so very simple the force of friction that is actually independent of the velocity of the body if you have any question then write in the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate